Well, the shocking story we aired a few weeks ago about a woman with 100 cats touched many of you. A handful of those cats were successfully adopted out to good homes. But the outcome is not so favorable for many colonies of wild cats in Coda Territory. But an organization is trying to change that. Our Cindy Davis shows us how. In Cleghorn Canyon, wildlife is a constant sight, but the tracks that lead to Linda Eddy's home are likely wild cats. I started feeding them when there was probably, I'm going to say six or seven. Five years ago, she began feeding the strays that were left behind by a neighbor. Today, there are between 25 and 30 unspayed and unneutered felines that come to her door for food every day. It cost me $200 a month to feed these animals, which I don't mind doing. But she can't afford for the colony to grow anymore. That's why she called the West River Spay-Neuter Coalition. If it wasn't for us coming out in here and doing this in February, we would, she would probably be facing another 15, 20 litters. The coalition offers low-cost procedures to low-income families. The organization made an exception for Eddie because of the cost to spay and neuter this many cats would be between $150 and $200 a pop. Here's how it works. The coalition sets out humane traps. The cat will eventually wander in and after they eat as they walk out they'll set the trigger and that'll that'll shut the door down. I had to hide to catch these kitties up close. Gosh, there's one in there. Oh, yeah, there's one in there. Oh. In just an hour, the traps caught eight cats. No, the females are the ones that are not coming into the cages. Of course, they're a little bit smarter than the males. <laughs> a handful of veterinarians work with the coalition basically for free six or eight times a year. When the cats recover, they'll be released back into the wild. For Eddie, it's the healthiest and most humane option. You know, I'm just stepping up and doing my part. Some people do it for the Cancer Society. I'm doing it for the animals. She's really a very big-hearted person. Cindy Davis, Coda Territory News. Linda Eddy spent about $600 of her own money to get the cat spayed or neutered. In all, 12 males and 7 females were successfully trapped and fixed.